All right, once you get to ubuntu-studio.org slash download, you can see that the top choice is the long-term support release. As the second option would be your most recent release. Um, here we'll choose an option. Uh, once you do, you can check the downloads folder to see if it's downloading. And then you'll notice that it's downloading, so you just wait however long it is and then we'll show you how to burn a, a disk image to DVD. Um, first you go into your folders and you find the ISO that you downloaded um, and then if you're on a Mac you can just right click and burn disk to and it's that simple just just like it showed there and of course you wait a while and that'll bring up uh, or that'll burn a disk for you. Um, the other option for installing Ubuntu Studio into your uh, laptop or desktop is to create a um, image disk on a USB drive which uh, in order to do that on uh, Mac, Windows, or Linux uh, there's a great little program called Etcher to get it, you just go to etcher.io um, or www.etcher.io. Um, it'll detect which operating system you have. Again, click download, check your downloads. Doesn't take quite as long because it's not as large a file. And then you can just um, click on it. And it'll do. Uh, it's, it's a very straightforward program. Um, and of course, you got to install it and do that whole process. But it's pretty straightforward. Once you get to get it installed on your computer, and then once you do, you can go into your applications folder and open it up. Assuming you can find it. Once you find it, you open it up. And once you have the program open, it is a very easy from there and straightforward. Um, of course, uh, Mac or Windows will ask you, since it's not a program that they're used to, uh, if it's something you really want to open up, and of course you will go ahead and open it, and then the screen will, or the software will show up and look like this. You select your image, uh, once again, you find that in your downloads folder or whatever folder you happen to be downloading to from your browser. Um, you find the um, ISO of Ubuntu Studio. Um, for some reason, my Mac is pretty slow these days. Uh, then, and you click on open. Um, I only have one USB drive connected at the moment so it automatically detected it but if you have more than one drive attached you choose the one that uh, you want to want to use and you just click on change it oh no oh, see there's only the one continue and then you click on flash and it'll start this takes about 10 minutes for it to start and verify and once it's done you have a USB um, drive that is uh, ready to use in order to install Ubuntu Studio onto your laptop or desktop. And that's that.